Oh my gosh, I love it when this happens. I literally just stepped foot in this beautiful creek and I found our first Lake Superior agate. I didn't know if I was gonna need my bucket or anything, but as I was walking through, I look and right there, you can see it. Oh, <laughs> oh it's so beautiful. What a beautiful, beautiful Lake Superior agate. Heck of a start, golly. Hopefully we can find more. Oh man, is this one? Oh, it's calcite, oh that's cool. Well, our creek rock hunting adventure is off to a phenomenal start. I have never been to this spot and I'm very pleased with it so far. Again, I've been here for like two minutes, found an agate. Let's get back in the creek and see what else we can find. Doesn't quite look like the best piece right in here, but some porphyry. Oh, it's it's really light. Not too bad, but not a keeper. Got a little piece of jasper wedged in here. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. So waxy. I got a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna leave it right where I found it. Got another piece of porphyry. This one's a little better than the last. Sweet little, kind of looks like a flower. Kind of cool. Not too bad. I do have a lot of this stuff, so it's fun seeing it, but I don't take all of it home all the time. But a little creek that I've been hunting in, I kind of run out of this exposed rock, and there's just like kind of a lot of like basalt formations, so. I've actually turned around and I'm gonna head to a new creek because I want to find more agates and that's a leaf, okay. Um, yeah, this one is kind of a bust. It was a banger and a bust at the same time. <laughs> so this river is a little louder than the last spot and also a new river, which I'm very excited about. And right down there is a big chunk of porphyry. Whoa! Right up here is a big chunk of porphyry and something I always tell myself is where there's porphyry there's agates and this is a little one so the spot has potential so even though it's a little flooded I think we got a shot to find some more Lake Superior agates hopefully we get lucky this looks like it has more exposed rock than the last spot got a creek bank find this one looks kind of interesting it's got crystals in there. I know water makes the crystals not as druzy, but that's pretty. Quartz in, quartz in the host rock. Pretty sweet. A oh, little piece of jasper. That's nice and pretty. I like that. Not sure what this is but it's big and it, it's really really waxy like glass it's not obsidian but oh, what is this that is so pretty Man, I wish I had a saw big enough to cut that. That's crazy. That's just like super, super waxy. That's so crazy. How pretty is that? Wow. That's a very unique find. If anybody knows what that is, leave a comment, let me know. Weird. So we got a very, very small handful of agates here. They're getting bigger. <laughs> I found this guy. This is really cool. It's like kind of churdy, little churdy. Uh, got some nicer pieces of porphyry here. Not too bad. But I'm very excited because the spot produces 
and right here right there I saw saw it from over I was standing in the water and looking up and it just peeked out of me that pitting this is an agate nodule oh let's get it wet check it out oh yeah it's probably a big quartz bomb inside but it's a it's an agate nodule if anything it's a quartz nodule but it's got that orange husk on it this would be a fun one to cut probably a lot of quartz in there but hey we're finding good stuff at this new spot first spot was a little light smaller creek you know ran out of room but this one not too bad sorry oh that's awesome I'm very happy with that oh my gosh I just got done recording and I look down and right there right through the weeds before I move I'm gonna look around a little bit more I thought this was one but it's not but let's grab this one sorry spacing out oh that one's got a lot of quartz too but it's got some beautiful limonite stained bands right there a little bit of bands up in here that's a pretty little nodule not disappointed at all that's sweet a nodule shard I should say with a lot of quartz in it a little bit of banding in there you can see it kind of right running along there and there oh that's sweet awesome So the spot that we're at right now and the very first spot we went to both had higher water levels than you would maybe have in middle of summer or even fall. So it makes it really, really exciting to be able to find what we're finding here with these high water levels. Because when we come back later in the year, and we will, the water is going to be down and more rocks are going to be exposed. So I'm really excited to be able to come back here later. So if you want to see those rock hunts, make sure you hit that subscribe or follow button. But I'm going to head to a little bend in the river here and hopefully we find some good stuff. This guy, nice little banded nodule, or banded piece. More cords, but hey, it's got bands. If it'll focus here, let's get in the sunlight. There we are. <laughs> oh, it's got some really nice little bands in there. Man, this spot's going to be fun to come to when the water levels go down. There's a lot of rocks in here. A lot that can't, hasn't been found. Oh, sweet. Two more in the pocket. Got ourselves another one right there. Oh, it has a little bit more hidden underneath. Oh, it's got some really nice bands. Limonite staining, kind of clear with orange. That's nice. I love agates. <laughs> They're so fun. Well, for the little bit of river I was able to explore today in these two new spots, I'm very happy with the results. Found some good agates. A couple of them will be fun little cutters. And I will definitely be coming back to this spot I'm at right now and the first spot we went to today but maybe in like a month or so when the water levels go down. So thank you all so much for joining me on this little rock hunting adventure. We'll see you next time. Bye.